Yo, what's up? Hang on, I need to test this microphone. I didn't think I plugged it in properly. Okay, I did. I'm using the right microphone this time. Last time I was using the laptop microphone and that wasn't great quality. So, uh, what am I doing? Uh, I think I will just put this on. It's fine. Not too loud. Coding music for the win. Here we go. Uh, let me switch it over. Um, not really. Instead of the exams they planned for us, they put some tests in. It was like exams without a teacher. Ah, nice, okay. That's good. Um, I've heard some horror stories of people having to like repeat the year and all that. Uh, or like having to do the summer classes and exams to catch up. Um, it's just a very stressful time in general. I'm very fortunate that I managed to finish in January. Um, like right before <laughs> all of this started, so yeah. I was very fortunate. Um, Killer UKG, thank you for the follow. I had no idea you streamed. Seen your work on Sam and Harris's stream, and it blows me away. They are very cool people. I'm, yeah, it's been an honor being able to do work for them, um, and just like working with them on different projects because they know like. They have all of the design and ideas and stuff like that, and um, yeah, it's really cool to be able to be a part of it, to bring it to life. So, yeah, thank you. You can turn up the mic volume. Uh, hopefully it's okay. I think this is the max. Oh wait, I might need to boost it again. Uh, oh wait, I can just do that in OBS. For some reason, my microphone's not Oh, it says learning React. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not learning JavaScript from scratch, but I do want to consolidate my knowledge. Um, maybe go through some exercises. Um, but more, well, Sam did put me in the content clinic group. Um, and I thought it might be cool to just run a a JavaScript kind of, I don't want to say workshop because I don't consider myself a teacher at all, but um, I don't know. I've been getting questions. <laughs> um, I'm a bit bad at replying to DMs at the moment because work has been very exhausting. I need to change that text. So maybe if any of those people happen to stumble on just do this um, the stream then it might and we can learn together I'm not a pro by any means um, but uh, yeah I am looking to improve Um, and I do have the Devils theme. Oh wait, it doesn't really show up. It's mostly all like white until I think, actually I'm not sure what the syntax highlighting is for this. It might just be red. I'm pretty sure there's blue in this. Oh yeah, blue with strings, okay. Um, <laughs> And yeah, we'll maybe participate in that at some point. Um, let me see. It's strange the number of things I wish would have been added as widgets, stream element, stream labs, and a few months later I see you create. Yeah, there's the the stream elements widgets are very um, 
very, what's the word, Fle not flexible? Well, they are flexible. They're like, there's a lot you can do with them that you can't necessarily do with Streamlabs widgets, um, just because the Streamlabs ones, I don't think they have like a full custom widget where you can add all your code and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's really cool to be able to create all of that kind of thing, things, stuff. <laughs> uh. Um, what should we do? I'm kind of tempted to go through like an ES6 exercise thing. Um, so maybe we'll look for that. I know there's quite a lot out there. But I don't know, we'll see. It's getting late. Oh, it is getting late for me as well. I'm probably gonna stream for like maybe an hour or so. It's not gonna be that long. I might stream tomorrow. Um, I'll leave the stream open, watch the VOD tomorrow. I'm currently taking a co co course, I can't speak, in Node.js, which is interesting. Nice, Node.js is a lot of fun. Um, that's one of the cool things about JavaScript is that you can use it for front end um, and back end. So basically one language to do both, which is, um, yeah, it's efficient because once you learn the language, you can sort of do the node stuff and get into the back end, end of things, and then do all the front end -y stuff like React. Um, and you can make some cool things. Um, I don't know if this is the one that I was using. What is it? But yeah, hope you have a good sleep. Um, have a good Sunday tomorrow. And I'll catch you around. Hmm. What is this? Can I just not look for like JavaScript exercises or something? <laughs> oh god, it's all just W3 stuff. TypeScript, that might be fun to learn, actually. What? There's like a whole game for it. Um, I'm super new to web dev in general. Started a generalized course on Udemy that I've bumped a few hours into, but overall I'm a big noob at it. Yeah, I would say it's mostly just practice and time. Um, the more you sort of go through things, um, the more you'll start to see patterns and how stuff is done. And I would say try to mix in tutorials with own project stuff, maybe like splinter off from a tutorial to make your own version of it or something like that. Um, because a lot of the time you can go through a tutorial and get really good at that, but then it kind of breaks down when you try to apply it to your own things. So I think getting that early on is probably good practice for applying application. Um, even if it's just like only changing the content to different words or something. Uh, Nini, what's up? How's it going? Hope you're having a good weekend. Only previous coding I had was Python. Python's a good language. Python's a a good language for getting into programming, I think. Um, I didn't have much Python experience before I needed it for like um, school and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's like you can get super in depth with that as well. Um, and it's, uh, I believe the Streamlabs chatbot scripts are in Python, which is always a fun time if you want to try it implementing your 
knowledge into that. TypeScript over JavaScript. I do have some TypeScript knowledge. Funnily enough, um, ActionScript 3, which is what I kind of started coding from, it's a not a great, not a great, um, it's like, I don't know, it's ancient. I'm not sure if ActionScript 3. <laughs> yeah, it was for Flash. Uh, and it was pretty terrible, but I mean it was kind of a good primer for JavaScript to be honest You probably need TypeScript actually You got a job nice congratulations, that's uh, the um, you said you were going for the Game development job is that right? That's awesome, congratulations. How um, how long have you been there now? Or have you not started yet? To be honest, the main reason I wanted to learn was to create my own alerts back in 2017. Good push to learn basic HTML. Yeah, that's kind of how I got into it as well. Um, making alerts for a friend. I'm wanting something super custom. Um, oh, well, actually, I think the blog is still there. This was the actual blog that probably started it all, to be honest. Um, I was just looking up how to make like a, a fancy animated overlay, and um, I came across this blog. I think this was about a year or so after this was published, so probably 2017. Yeah, I think it was 2017 because I was still doing my other course before I got into like coding and stuff. And um, and then it was going through this and I was like reading it and I was like, what? That's awesome. Um, and then it was like, it broke it all down. So I kind of learned from that. Unfortunately, a lot of this is outdated now because this is this was done in um, Flash, so like Adobe Flash, so like actually drawing stuff, um, which I think has been renamed. Where well, it has been renamed to Animate, and that's kind of where I picked up on ActionScript three and then moved into JavaScript. Um, but yeah, it was a really good primer, and. Um, that's how I found Peking Boo, obviously, who is a awesome streamer who does lots of custom stuff as well. And I added my own notes at the bottom as well. <laughs> oh, it was November. November 1st, 2017. But yeah. Um, that's how I kind of got into it. And then it's kind of just been downhill from there. I'll post the link if anyone wants to have a read through. I'm a UI programmer for Panache Digital Games. Nice. Indie Studio in Montreal. I have a lot of respect for Indie Studios, so that's awesome. UI as well, damn. Your work is literally going to be like the first thing that people get to interact with in a game. Oh, that's the stream element spot. Re. Um, two weeks. I've only been working for one week because setup time. I'm waiting for the work PC to arrive. Ah, right. You're working from home. Are you working from home like full time, or is it? Um, uh, because of COVID and everything. Man, I should ask for a work PC. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, my um, um, boss, I guess, did offer to give people their P uh, the work PCs if we wanted to take them home, but I'm fairly comfortable with my setup at the moment, so. And to be honest, web development doesn't really need anything 
particularly strong. Uh, I am running out of memory, but that's mostly my fault, not because of work. Oh, okay, home because of COVID. Nice. Yeah, I, <laughs> I reckon game development you need strong PCs. It's fortunately not too much of an issue for me. <laughs> It would be nice. I mean, I am building a PC, so at some point I will probably get an upgrade and that'll probably, well, that won't be for work. It would be nice to have use it for work, but um, that'll probably be for gaming and streaming. Not that I game too much at the moment. Actually, that's a lie. I've been gaming more just because at the end of the a day of coding, I just don't want to code anymore. I did quite well to begin with, and then recently it's just like, I can't take anymore. I'm already staring at a screen, at words, or, I don't know, hours. Oh yes, Ori, I still do need to play that. That's one of those games I can chill back, I think, and just play with a controller. I'm fairly sure I still have my Xbox 360 controller around here somewhere. My Pro Controller died and I'm sad about that. Ah, the one that they got me is an RTX 2070, damn. <laughs> That's pretty hardcore. Is it strictly for work? Would you be able to like use it for not work? Or is it like restricted? Oh, um, one thing I do want to do is, something, I don't know, let's see, okay. Oh, okay, cool. It works. I'm on it right now. At least I can do anything on it except torrent and prun. Nice. That's awesome. I guess it's a bit silly of me to ask if you can play, like, games on it since you're in game dev, so... It's like when, um... I imagine at Twitch or like the account managers is basically their job to watch streams all day. Well, I guess it wouldn't be all day. They probably have to do like accounty stuff and managing sponsorships and all that. Um, but I imagine a big chunk of their time is also watching streams, which <laughs> it was, I mean, yeah, that's their job and they get paid for it. Which is awesome. One day. Um. I want to find JavaScript exercises. advanced I'm not really looking for anything too advanced I just want to see what kind of stuff they people ask for what is X 
repair bills. Oh god, why is this page in... There is a dark theme, right? There isn't. We're just going to hack it in, I guess. There's probably a... Um, Uh, extension for this. Oh, maybe I should just apply it to body. That would be a better idea. That'll do. Um, anything that's pre can also be... Well, we should make it stand out a bit more. What? What is the color of being overridden by? Oh, it's code inside. Right. Oh, uh, well, we'll just leave it blue. It's fine. Oh, God. It's still got the thing on the side. Why? Wait, what? It's like... I'll just do this. There we go. Um, it's surprising how many large streamers I see with staff sitting in the viewer list. Yeah. And keeping an eye on them. You should check out Ancestors, the game my studio made. Hashtag not sponsored. I think I actually heard of that. Isn't that the one where you... Um, I'm pretty sure I saw it... Oh, where was it? I think it was the Game Awards last year. Or it might have been the year before. Uh, it's the one where it's like Evolution or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Panache Digital Games. Nice. Survival. Ancestors, the human, kind, Odyssey. Sounds good. I just finished, um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, so I'm kind of in between games at the moment. So yeah, I appreciate the recommendation. OMG, thank you. <laughs> I never thought of just... Yeah, it's one of those things. It's just like, I'll just hack it myself because I know how. It's what extra perk. <laughs> Uh, only downside is that obviously if I go to the next page, it's just going to undo itself. So I should probably just install an extension for it, to be honest. Rocco, what's up? It's the one where you can try to catch all the pocket monsters. Make page dark mode extension. Oh God, that's a Chrome. I'm not using Chrome. Uh, Firefox. Dark mode, web extension. Global dark theme for web. I'll try this. Yeah, I'm just gonna duplicate this and see if it works. Oh wait, I'm in incognito Allow. there we go what that's so much better oh uh, on the downside it seems to have broken the chat
like that's not good <laughs> I can't see the chat wait what Is there a way to like exclude um, links and stuff or maybe just make it run for, I don't want to apply it to every single page. I just want it for the page that I'm on. That's a terrible, I'm uninstalling that. And I'll minimize that one here. Um, dark theme. I know I saw he had a one that did it. Doing good, just figured out how to capture video of my iPad in OBS. Oh, nice. Now you can play um, iPad games, like um, Raid Shadow Legends. You can get sponsored by them. Oh, more for drawing, that's right. Why didn't I think of that? Um, Dark Reader. I think this is the one that I just clicked. Let's try it. Uh, I need to go to add ons, plugins. The, wait, not plugins, extensions. Allow. There we go. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, so much better. And my chat's still working. Cool. Hopefully, that didn't install a virus or anything. Um, alright, let's go through this and see. I'm not going to have much time left for coding at this rate. Oh, you have to write it in here? Okay. We might just use this as a scratch pad up here. And then we'll see. Um, JavaScript programs, okay, yeah, we know that. Oh, wait, this is just regular JavaScript, I think. I was looking for. Wait, what are these? What it? What are X ones? What is reassignment? Okay, we know about that one as well. Multiple functions. Oh, you know what I want to try? I want to try thunks. This is me more freeballing. So a thunk is a function that returns another function. But I'm kind of curious as to how exactly that works.
does that mean that I can just use bar as a function? Huh. So then how does that work? Can I make a bunch of bars? Maybe I should increase the screen size. Const Huh. Boy in the Will of the Wisps is the second game I've ever made fan of or Oh, damn. Do you have a link? Can I see? What was the um, first game that you made fan of for? Andrew, what's up? You have some audacity streaming. <laughs> to be fair, um, it, this is me more just playing around with JavaScript rather than actually trying to learn anything. Well, I guess I am learning as I go along, but I couldn't really find a good site for going through exercises, so I might just make up my own. Oh, one shot. I think I heard you mention that. Nice. It's not done. Well, hopefully you'll uh, share it when it is. Are you, are you doing it, um, I guess you're doing it digitally. Shovel TTB, what's up? How's it going? I'm not doing too badly, thank you. I haven't streamed for a while, so, um, yeah, it's good to be able to do that. Test um, variable, no. Can I do this? So that doesn't have access to that, I don't think. It's kind of spoilery though, so I'm gonna wait for finished people to finish the game before showing it. Ah, okay. I feel like I would probably want to play the first Ori before I obviously will have the Wiss for the full experience. So I'll probably have to do that. What are you coding today? Um, I don't actually know. Well, it's more just learning how things work. So this right here is called a thunk. Well, not like the meme thunk which is a very interesting word. I'm not sure how it came about, but um, it's especially prevalent in... Um... Redux and React. Uh, there's a really good article on it. by Dave Cedia, Cedia, called What the Heck is a Thunk, which I definitely recommend. Definitely play the first one before the second. Noted. Didn't see if you responded before, but I hope you prefaced it with Devil Wars Champion and Oscar Delta. Yeah, they should make a, um, a badge for that. Like a, a global Twitch badge. 
Honestly, I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure they were partnered before, weren't they? Feels like a a good channel to partner, just because they do some pretty awesome stuff. I am using the Devil's theme. I was like, I looked it up, and I was like, oh yeah, sure it is. I'm psyching myself up. I don't know if I'll join next time. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I kind of don't. <laughs> Maybe I'll do HTML. Oh, they're affiliate. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's right, because they had their coin emote, yeah. Um, and you're right, I should use Baz. Um. No name, what's up? Do I study at uni? I did, I graduated at the beginning of this year. Which is very fortunate because um, it was right before all of this stuff started happening so that's <laughs> I'm pretty lucky um, you know the other thing I wanted to learn about properly was iterators, not iterators, uh, I think iterators. God, this dark theme has made everything dark theme, including Google, which I'm kind of not mad about. Generators, there we go. There's a generator function. I have three more years to go. Oh, nice, what are you studying? If you don't mind me asking. I'm guessing it's maybe computer science related. Oh, it's computer science. Nice. How are you um, finding it so far? Or have you not started? Let's make a generator function. So it looks like... So if we have a function that returns something, maybe let's just make it an object and we'll say value zero, one, zero. And give it a function that, wait, do I have access to value? Uh, this store value. I don't think so, unless this is function. Oh no, it's because I'm not calling next, right? Okay, and then what if this is like this? Okay, so that's one of the things about um, anonymous, or arrow function, sorry, is that makes it scope. Scope is a pain. But I don't like typing out the word function. Oh no. 
well, I guess I just have to say function, even though I don't want to. Or, what if I say just generate dot value? Or can I say, this is this? That'd be weird. That is weird. No, it accepted it. Okay, no, it didn't work. But I could say generate to dot value. If I wanted to keep, I don't know if there's any implicate bad implications of that. Have a part time job in C. Nice. You know, it's funny because you wrote I study CS as in computer science. The first thing my mind went to when you said I have a part time job in C is I have a part time job in computer. So you're just doing the science part of it now. <laughs> so, wait, but C comes under computer science, doesn't it? Or you, do you mean, are you going more into like a, a web dev kind of thing? Or are you doing like, um, I don't know, computer science covers does cover a lot of, I guess, uh, to be fair, the computer science that I did covered more um, software-y and data science-y stuff. And I think the web dev was actually more on information science. Which I wasn't really aware of at the time. I might have done the other course because it had more of an emphasis on web dev, but... I mean, I was doing web dev just in my spare time anyway, so it kind of worked out eventually. I do low level stuff, but want to switch to web dev. Learning JavaScript stuff, nice. Awesome. JavaScript is definitely a uh, interesting language. Classic mistake, one, make a function, run code, why is it not working? Oh, I haven't called it. The number of times I've done that, especially with, um, like, uh, there was this one case recently where I had a iffy, and I just forgot to put the, the colons, uh, the, like, um, what do you call it? parentheses on the end to actually make it run. So I had that, and I was like, why isn't it working? I've got all my code here. And I just needed to stick that on the end. It was really frustrating. Um, yes. I guess I should say function. I don't know, I don't really like... Oh, I do have to write function for when I make a generator, I think, so that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so we'll say... Um, when we call next, we should say value... plus equal... value? That won't really work with zero. Um, but maybe let's try making this one. Console log generator dot value. Uh, actually, let me also switch over to a different theme because I realize this one isn't really, uh... Oh, I did install some Star Wars themes. That's kind of nice looking. <laughs> um, I like JavaScript, especially in comparison to C. I've never done any C, so I can't comment on that. But um, I have seen how low level it gets. So, yeah, I, I probably can't imagine myself doing that. But yeah, that you must come from, like, you must have, like, a, a very good understanding of how things work internally. 
and they're obviously lowest operation, so now come in useful. Do you want to make something specific now? Um, not right this moment. I think what I'm just doing is playing with JavaScript to see how things work. I'm not m making anything in specifically because there's probably not much time to do that at the moment. Um, I'm just going to make this and see how it That does, okay, so that does what a generator should do, I think. Or well, it's doing what I want it to do, which is just add itself. Does this look through the whole script or just the object? Yes, so this is just this object. I can access this. Um, when, I ha when I'm using a function with parentheses, um, this is the generator. So that's why I can get to this value. Um, Ramana, Rama, Ram, Mananda, twelve eleven eight. Thank you for the follow. How's it going? Um, I think how it works is if I say this. and then do this, this becomes this scope. So if I console log this, that's just this function, I think. I'm not actually, sh well, yeah, it just loses scope. So that's why this needs to be function. That generator works, but now I want to make a generator function. Custom iterators are a useful tool. Their creation requires careful programming due to the need to explicitly maintain their internal state. Generator functions will provide a powerful alternative. General... Hmm. Generators functions do not initially execute the code. Okay, so let's see how this works. If I type something like function with this, which looks really weird. And then I do that. And then I yield. Yield. Yield step. Oh, this doesn't let me do that if I do it like this. Can't use arrow functions with generator functions. Okay, that's good to know. So if I say create generator or const uh, new generator, well, Let's just call it gen. Gen. So how does this work now? Can I just 
console log gen. Okay, that's the iterator. Then if I do gen dot next, okay, I'm not one hundred percent sure that I've written this correctly. Basically, I need this. So this is basically supposed to do what this does automatically. Um, the whole point of generators is that I don't need this internal state thing, even though this probably makes more sense to me than this does currently. And if I just try yielding multiple times, I can spell. Oh. Oh, so I can keep yielding, and then that will show each one. So if I do well, that's still now, how do I access the value normally then? You? No. Hmm. Well, this seems to make sense, but then that's going through every single value. If I just want like this to output the value and then call next and then output the value, how does that work? Because that's the next function. So this automatically comes with the next function. There's got to be... Return. Oh, return dot value and defined. I just want to return the first value. Stop value. Not returned or value. And then that must be what the done thing is. Gotcha, okay. Uh Nigua 3D. Thank you so much for the follow. What's up? So if I say that and then done. So not done. Oh 
Oh wait, because I'm calling next again. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want to be calling next twice. I could go... How to do this. Um... Oh yeah, that's just that. Undefined and then done becomes true. Okay, gotcha. Disto, what's up? How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. It's been a fairly nice weekend so far. Uh, what does function star do? Um, that creates an iterator. Generator, sorry. I'm getting them mixed up. Um, and then, depending on what you yield. So, actually, I could probably do this. Actually, no, I don't even need that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yield I. And then I can keep going. Yay. That's neat. So that was what I was doing manually. So actually I might be able to just, wait, what if I? Plus, equal I, okay. Wait, that's not doing what I thought it would do. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, but yes, that's um, iterated generators, I suppose. Something like that. I suppose the whole point of the generators is that it saves you doing that whole tracking internal state kind of thing. Though I would probably still be tempted to do something like this. Can one create an infinite stream using yields? Probably. Probably. Something like that. Um. One place where I've used a generator in the past, this was a while ago, was for a um, a backing off generator. So um, one of my, I think it's a WebSocket that I have implemented somewhere, I can't remember. Um, when it fails to connect, it will wait for one second to reconnect and then it'll wait if that fails it'll wait two seconds um and then four or eight or something like that but yeah it keeps going up and then i've used a one of these generator things to basically just do that and then it will slowly back off until it doesn't really connect at all Not a fan of that syntax, makes me want to throw up instantly. Yeah, I have to admit, it's not the greatest looking thing. I don't really like writing the word function anywhere if I can help it, just because I'm so used to using uh, anonymous arrow functions. 
not an anonymous named arrow functions. I wonder if there's a nicer way to write that. Maybe it's not here yet. Maybe it's like... Oh wait, don't need that. But that would be cool if that kind of worked, but it doesn't. I don't know. There's a lot of weirdness in JS, so... Whatever. I think that kind of looks... I mean, it's not the greatest looking, but if it gets the job done, then whatever. <laughs> it comes with this, like, done thing, which is pretty cool. It will tell you if you've reached the end of your... Uh, iterations. Which I think is neat. One year and seven months, damn. It only seems like yesterday I was stuck in the computer lab, making random weird stuff. I haven't really progressed much beyond that. Let's be real. <laughs> um. I'm coming up in an hour now. Oh, actually, let's go post now. Cool. Well, that might give me an excuse to head off then. <laughs> Don't name. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Um, but yes, I it is half 12 here, so I probably am going to head off, but I might be back tomorrow, maybe doing some more random JavaScript stuff. We'll see. We're all stuck in a loop, yes. Like, death loop. That, uh, game that looks pretty neat that's coming out soon. Rockheart, hope you have a good night as well. Coel. Disto. Doname. Ninny. You've only been on 70 minutes. Yeah, well, I definitely should have started earlier. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'll maybe start in the afternoon. We'll see. We'll see how far I get with whatever I'm doing. I don't know yet. Um, but yes, generators, cool stuff. The one game that got my attention from the PS5 show was Kenna. That might have been early on. I'm, I only caught like the last hour or so, I think. So I haven't seen that one. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. Hmm. Cute adventure sounds a lot like if Pikmin <laughs> did exorcisms. Oh god. Oh, okay, it was in the first half. I need to catch up on it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head off. Thanks for hanging out. You know, it's good to stream again. Hopefully I'll get back into it properly with some... I don't know if I'll do project stuff. I feel like I don't get much done on project things. So maybe messing around with JavaScript like I've done now and uh, just chatting is probably the best way to go we'll have to see <laughs> um, I will catch you soon right peace I think the ending screen is still broken by the way I still need to fix it but you know what it's fine everything's fine